Hello and welcome to an introduction to HDR for onset production. My name is Kevin Salvage. I'm the European Regional Development Manager for LEADER based in London in the UK. And if you have any questions concerning the presentation or require any additional information concerning LEADER products, please don't hesitate to contact me on the numbers below. So a little bit of background about LEADER. LEADER is based in Yokohama in Japan and the company was founded in 1953. And we do one thing and one thing only, we manufacture electronic measurement equipment. And our products are used by professional broadcast equipment manufacturers globally and also used by motion picture and television production companies, post-production companies, media production labs, outside broadcast companies, studio production companies and play out facilities globally. So today we're going to have a brief introduction to 4K stroke UHD technology. And unlike previous technology innovations, 4K stroke UHD actually has six different technology directions. And the first and most obvious is resolution. We now have four times the resolution of a high definition image. The next one is bit depth and the UHD standards use 10 bit video depth. The next bit is high frame rate and this includes frame rates for 50, 60, 100 and 120 frames per second. Also the UHD standards do not support interlaced formats therefore all standards are progressive formats, which gives much smoother moving motion on pictures. We have a new colour space, a wide colour gamut, BT2020. We have high dynamic range, where the maximum luminance ranges from 10 times to 100 times that of standard dynamic range. And we also have enhancements to the audio with immersive audio experiences. So what does all this mean? So for HD standard dynamic range, we have 100 nits, 24 frames per second, 1920 by 1080 resolution, stereo audio, 701 color space, and an 8-bit depth. For cinema, we still have 100 nits, 25 frames per second, but a slightly wider resolution of 2048 by 1080, also known as 2K. Audio, 5.1, a wider colour gamut, DCI-P3, and a 10-bit depth. Then, when we move to the UHD standards, currently, HDR on average is between 5 and 700 nits, but there are now consumer displays that will go to 1,000. We have 50 frames per second, we have a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Audio 5.1 and we have a wider colour gamut of Rec 2020 and a 10-bit depth. Then we also have UHD HDR theatrical and this can go up to 200 nits, frame rate of 50 frames per second and a resolution of 4096 by 2160. So like HD had 2K, UHD has 4K. And most of the cinemas that are displaying 4K images also have Dolby Atmos, Rec 2020 color space, and are using a bit depth of 12 bits. So how does this affect production and delivery? Well, it depends what your customer means by UHD. UHD in its basic format is just resolution. It's 100 nits, 50 frames per second, 3840 by 2160, Audio 5.1, 709 color space and 10 bits. However, there is then UHD HDR, where we now see the HDR component going up to a thousand nits. The next one we see is UHD HDR wide color gamut. And here we see the color gamut now going up to BT 2020. And finally, 
we can have UHD, HDR, wide color gamut, high frame rate. And here we see the frame rate going up to 100 frames per second. We also have a UHD2 HDR wide color gamut high frame rate. And this is being used by NHK in Japan for their 8K service. And here the resolution now goes up to 7680 by 4320. I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.